Man, I've been playing for my whole life. I wasn't that great in high school. I was good enough to make a Division One team, but I was like a full nerd. I, I attended the Air Force Academy. It's like, it's a nerd school, man. It's like really hard to get into. They're not really known for basketball. I played a couple years there, training to be a fighter pilot. And just like any kid with a fickle mind, I wanted to switch my attention. I didn't want to be there anymore. So I went to the direct opposite of a military school and I went to University of Hawaii. I had a great college experience there. And that was when I started to believe that I had a chance to make it pro, not necessarily in the NBA, but pro somewhere. I didn't know too much about the Philippines at the time. You know, we didn't have iPhones. We had, we barely had Blackberries at the time. Globalization, finding information across overseas was, uh, it was tough. Chat windows, uh, Magic Jack. Bro, yeah, we're, I was there. So I started having a lot of Filipinos come and scout and, and recruit me to come play on the Philippines and play professional and be on the national team. It was really my junior year where I was like, man, I gotta, I got a shot. I think I could really make this into something. So, you know, I blinked three times now it's been like 16 years and i'm getting near the tail end of my career but um you know you asked tony earlier like what would you be doing if you weren't yeah. playing basketball right i would have been an investment banker